Oh, he's got that Jim Brogan stroke down. But again, Matera's got back in this also because they picked up their defense. And you know, that's what we talked about. Earlier. Brad Holland, I'm sure, got on his players about, gentlemen, you've got to go out there. You've got to get up in their face. And that's got them back in the game. And you know, the Aztecs also, on top of that, have really kind of been lackluster on the offensive side. And the Toreros are closing in, folks. 51-46. So the lead has been nipped to five. 11 minutes to go in the game. Manker is out. Walton and Sanders are joined by Heath, Sharper, and Stokes. Sharper is a shooter if they can get it to him. Walton. Rebound Lewis. Lestenberg. Sane. And he throws it right past. Sanders rejected. Sanders again. Sanders. Again. The leading. Rebounder in the Mountain West Conference and the Aztecs ahead 53 to 46. Then Lestenberg comes back. Two. The lead is for Stokes weaving in the lane. So Ricky Stokes has got seven. Lead back up to six. Torero's doing this with McGrain at the point. Sane wide open. Off the back iron. Stokes with a seam. Sane influenced it. And our coverage of uh, San Diego basketball continuing. The first uh, part of the, the crosstown rivalry. Sharper for three. Bunang trying to come up with it. And he's gang. Nice save. Oh, Lewis wide open. And he puts it to bed. This is as close as the Toreros have been. Get that lob over Sanders with that wingspan. Milton pulls the trigger. He got it! Fred Milton with three. That was a great move. Tommy Johnson responds. That's a two ball. 57-53. Action heating up here on channel four. Five and a half minutes to play. <laughs> Nearly stolen. Sanders on top of it. Stokes, Hubbard rebound, Brandon Heath, three ball, way short, Lewis, who's been big here in the second half, throws up a wild shot and it goes in, <laughs> if it's going your way, it's going your way, Chris, lead cut to two, 57-55, Tommy Johnson, tough shot, air ball, Guerreros can take their first lead. They tie it up. 57 all. Boonang has 21. Brandon Heath. Count it. And he'll go to the line. Wow. When you said this kid had speed, you weren't kidding. I mean. And he's way short. Still, no Brad Lestenberg. Hubbard stays at the point. McGrain and Melton. Melton looking for the three. Brunang misses. Rebound Sanders. Oh, Brunang. Could have tied it right there. And that's going to be carrying the ball. Riggie pulls the trigger. And the Terrell lead it. 60-59, Heath back at you. Well, that was a short lead. That young man's got ice water. He just came right back at him and puts up the two. 61-60. What a comeback for the Toreros. Hubbard, and he calls timeout. Hubbard, dumping it into Bryce Munang. He's tied up, gets away, and following it, count it! Wow. Mike McGrain. Woo. Mike McGrain, offensive rebound in the putback. He snuck. A minute 24 to play, Aztecs by one. Carrero staying in the 1-3-1. One, one. Been working for him. Walton, Stokes thought about it. Wide open is Johnson. They don't see him. 
Stokes with eight on the clock. Lost the ball. Sanders. And Lewis has got it. We're under. McGrain has been big. They take it into Bryce. Puts it up. It's blocked by Sanders. Blocked by Sanders. No foul. So now 35, 34 seconds on the game clock. Wow, that's a rough foul by McGrain. And Stokes. Lack of composure. This could be the ball game right here. Heath. Shot was blocked at the far end. Bunang apparently thought he got fouled. And Heath makes two. Chris, I think they called it on Brad Hall. I think that. Are we getting in accurate game? information? He's not out. He's in the game. The official scorer is telling us it was on Bryce Bunang. Apparently it wasn't. It's got to be on the bench. You could be right. It's got to be on Holland. And off Tommy Johnson's shoulder out of bounds. One point lead to a three point lead. I guess it really doesn't matter. Officially, the technical on Brad Holland. He said something to veteran Dave Libby, and Dave Libby's done NCAA championship games, and usually don't rile him up too Boy, much. Well, that's a but, tough uh, time to make yeah. that call, though. Tough time to make that call. 28 seconds and change. Steve, F Steve Fisher trying to get San Diego State's first win at USD since 1975. It's the play. Gunang bottled up. McGrain, pitch it out to Lichtenberg. Missed it. Scramble. Some items are being thrown onto the floor. Now, at least one item that I can see. The game getting a little out of hand here. And Holland. Continuing to talk to Tom Wood. It was upset because he felt that he didn't have the ball to be able to call a timeout because you have to have complete possession of the ball to call a timeout. So that's what Brad was really upset about. Did he, Jim? No, uh, it didn't look like he had possession, and you can tell by Brad's solid reaction. He's so close to it right there. That you have to have possession to call timeout. Actually, I think Stokes called he the did. timeout. It, it appears that Sanders is going to come up with a ball, but he never did. Right. Stokes, he starts to call timeout. Yeah. But it, Smart the play by him. The referee's kind of blocked out. He can't see that there's no possession. There's no possession. And right there, Wesley's calling timeout. And the referee no, the ball's it. bouncing at the feet. <laughs> and Holland has a point. Eight seconds. You got a foul immediately. And they get steal. And they're not going to catch Heath, are they? They head to Walton. And that's the end of the game. So the San Diego State Aztecs hang on in a wild one here at the Slim Gym. Final score, 66-63. And the waning moments filled with uh, some controversy. Controversy indeed, you know, and right now I think the uh, coaching staff of the USC Terrera is very upset right now. And Brad Holland walking off the floor, very upset with Dave Libby. But, you know, some games are like that. It's unfortunate, but... Both teams played extremely hard. I mean, you could tell they wanted it bad, and that's what you like to see. University of San Diego. Two technical fouls tonight, resulting in four free throws made by San Diego State. You guys had a 20-point lead there that you let slip away. They had a 17-2 run. Talk about Brandon Keith, though, at the end there. A big three-pointer to give you guys back the lead, and then those free throws. Unfortunately, this is how basketball is. Teams make runs, and you've got to find a way to stop them, and especially in somebody else's building, we had a hard time stopping the run. We were playing so well, and then couldn't make a shot, got a little tight, and, and to their credit, they played terrific the second half against us. You tell me. You saw it. You tell me if it was right. You make, you make your own determination on that technical. That point in the game, you tell me. You tell me what, what, the, what was up with that. Foul. At the block. And all I said was, Dave, that was a foul. That's all I said. Technically.